the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 263, Daniel 7 to 9. Vision of four animals and the king's files. God showed Daniel through dreams and visions the event of the future of the countries and the empires. First point, God showed Daniel visions and by doing so showed that God was the ruler of the world. Daniel was shown four visions and they were of the four beasts, ram and a goat, Daniel's prayer and the seventy-sevens, and then chapter 10 to 12 showed a vision of the great battle. The first vision that he saw was of the four beasts and they symbolized the four empires that remained which were Babylon, Persia, Hellas, and Rome. The first beast out of the four represented the Babylonian Empire. The empire to knock down Babylon was Persia. The third beast represented the Hellenistic Empire. The fourth beast, Daniel saw, represented the Roman Empire. Through this, he was able to learn that God governed the whole world and its history. When God first showed him the vision, he struggled to understand what they meant. When Daniel asked God what they meant, God showed him more visions. God showed him the image of God making judgment and how there was a book right next to it. God continued to show the vision of the Son of Man. Eventually, Daniel was able to see the vision of the Messiah. God showed Daniel that empires were finite, but the kingdom of God was infinite. Thus, Daniel became God's prophet. The visions God showed to Daniel consulted the people of South Judah and also gave them hope for the future. Second point, after learning about God's vision of the four beasts, Daniel engraved this message close to his heart. God provided Daniel with the explanation regarding the vision of the four beasts. Each beast represented an empire and all these empires were to be judged by God. They would all fall, but God's kingdom would remain forever. The four empires would attack and rule of the people, whereas God's kingdom would be given to those who believed. The beasts would persecute the holy people, and then the fourth beast kingdom would trample over the last. However, God, the righteous judge, will bring his everlasting kingdom. God's kingdom would rise to last forever. Third point, just as Ezekiel was in Jerusalem through God's vision, Daniel was also near the Rai River through God's vision. Now we come to the vision of the lamb and the goat. The second vision given to him in chapter 8. This vision came to Daniel two years after seeing the first vision of the four beasts. Just as Ezekiel was given a vision of Jerusalem, Daniel was also given a vision of the Ulai River. In this vision, Daniel saw a ram. The ram with the two horns symbolized Mid and Persia, which represented the Persian Empire. The second vision was of the goat. The male goat symbolized the Hellenistic Empire. During the second vision, Daniel was accompanied by the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel also appears later on to tell of the birth of John the Baptist. The angel Gabriel also told of the birth of Jesus. Daniel was shown the vision of the Messiah, and he knelt down in fear and then fell asleep. In other words, he passed out. When he woke up, he went about his administrative tasks. Daniel was a politician and an administrator. More importantly, he was a man of God 
who experienced God's spirituality and also delivered God's message and will. Fourth point, Daniel realized that the 70 years of Babylon had almost come to an end through Jeremiah's letter and started to fast and pray for his people and his country. In the first year of Darius, Daniel understood from the scriptures that the 70 years of Babylon captivity had come to an end. Daniel knew that it was not long before the people would be able to return to Jerusalem. Thus, he recorded this in his book. This was less than a year before the people were able to return to Jerusalem. Daniel did not merely see God's visions and record them down. We can understand this through his prayer. Daniel was someone who saw and felt the reality for the people of South Judah, just like how Nehemiah fasted and prayed for his people, Daniel also fasted and prayed for his people. Daniel confessed that South Judah only had a God to turn to. Daniel replied to Jeremiah's records and prayed for the future of his people and country whilst fasting. Indeed, through Jeremiah's letter, Daniel was able to learn that the 70 years was almost up. In Daniel's prayer, we can see that he was educated in the Pentateuch. Daniel confessed their sins and asked God for forgiveness. He understood the content written in Leviticus chapter 26. And why the people were given the third stage of punishment, Daniel prayed to God who led the people out of Egypt. He prayed that God would also deliver the people out from Babylon. Daniel, moreover, prayed for God's glory and salvation. As such, Daniel prayed for God's mercy and grace. He prayed to God to take away his anger against Jerusalem. Fifth point, as Daniel prayed for his country and his people, the angel Gabriel came and answered his prayer. During the time Daniel prayed for his people and country whilst fasting, the angel Gabriel appeared before him. God had already given Daniel the 77th vision as an answer to his prayer. The angel Gabriel came and explained what this meant. The angel explained when the kingdom of God would be fulfilled. More specifically, this would be after Jesus' cross, when the Roman Empire would destroy the Jerusalem temple completely, and then through to Revelation. This showed that God decided what was to happen in his decided time. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.